Welcome back to another video here on Carmen's Graphics Blog YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at another video in our WebGPU Triangle series. We'll be talking about how to configure our WebGPU Canvas context and by doing so we'll be able to start drawing to our WebGPU Canvas. The other thing, by setting up our Canvas context, We'll also be configuring the swap chain, and this might be a little bit different if you're coming from a graphics API like Vulkan, because WebGPU abstracts out a lot of things that have to do with the swap chain. And if you're unsure about what a swap chain is, I'll be leaving a link to this blog post where you can scroll down here, click on bonus content swap chain, and just become more familiar with exactly what a swap chain is. Let's start the video. So let's quickly recap what we've done so far. All that we've done is that we've created this init function. And from there, we got our canvas. And we've got the context to the canvas, our web GPU context. And we created our adapter here and our device and if any of these concepts seem a little strange to you you can just go to the previous videos and we've talked about them in great length so we have this canvas context here and the next step that we need to do is that we need to configure it so that web gpu can well draw to it so if i go back into chrome canary and ultimately what I want to do is I want to take all this code here. In fact, we'll just get it with the comments as well so that we have that on our end. If I go back into VS Code, I will do a quick copy paste. And there we go. I'll save that. And we'll go over this code in just a quick second. We can actually pop back into Chrome Canary, go into our Carmen's Fun WebGPU Triangle project, open up the inspector, and see if we can log any messages. Oh, that's pretty neat. It looks like we have a black rectangle here now. And we can actually take our element selector here and we can confirm that it is indeed our canvas, our canvas element. So it looks like now we are writing to the canvas or at the very least we're, we're, we're adding color to it. So it looks like we're doing something right here, which is a good sign. But what exactly is happening here? Well, I think ultimately what we need to do, we need to go back into VS Code and get a better understanding of what these fields are. What exactly is device, format, and alpha mode? So we already know device, and that's exactly what we expect it to be. It's just our GPU device, which we talked about in our last video, part two, adapters and devices of this series. We're passing in this web GPU device, and I made a little comment here. What's happening is that we're creating this link between our GPU and our canvas. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, if we go back into Chrome Canary, I actually have an image here that I created, and this will be on my my accompanying blog post. But ultimately here, and this is a very high level guys, but we have our GPU device in the middle. And what that's doing is that that's kicking back data to our GPU adapter. And the GPU adapter is ultimately sending it to the GPU for the shaders to be ran essentially. And what's happening is that we're being returned color values. The device gets those color values and then draws it to the canvas. And we'll see later how exactly that may happen there's this concept of something called a swap chain. And WebGPU is very nice because it abstracts a lot of this low level things that you need to worry about, like the swap chain. Now, if you come from another graphics API like Vulkan, I think you are responsible for configuring the swap chain. Here, that's not the case. In fact, with just these few lines of code, we've configured everything we need to configure in terms of the swap chain, um, we've taken care of quite a bit of stuff. The next thing I want to talk about is our format field here. And I'm zooming in a little bit just so you can see it. Uh, format. And basically what we're doing here is we're just configuring the format that our canvas will be in. That'll match the textures that are going to be written to the canvas. So we actually have this nice helper function here 
navigator.gpu.get preferred canvas format. And what exactly is that doing? Well, what we can do actually is we can go back into Chrome and I've opened this page here. This is the docs for WebGPU and we can maybe zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view of that. And we can see here that get preferred canvas returns an optimal GPU texture format for displaying 8-bit depth standard dynamic range content on this system. Must only return RGB88U norm or BGRAHU norm. The return value here can be passed as the format to configure calls on a GPU con canvas context to ensure the associated canvas is able to display its contents efficiently. So basically we're gonna use this function, we're gonna get a value back and we're gonna pass that to the canvas and why do we do that? Well, it's so that the canvas is able to display its contents efficiently. I don't know what that means, super high level, you know, how it is being efficient, but I'm gonna trust the WebGPU documentation here. So I, we can actually go now back into VS Code and just a quick high level, you know, we're getting this presentation format and we're just gonna pass it right in as the format um, to, to configure our context with. Great. There is this additional alpha mode, and I have it set to a pack. This is not super important, and also to every application is different. So a final note that I want to make is that if we go back into Chrome Canary, I have the web GPU documentation up, and we have here the GPU canvas configuration. Here is where you'll find all the arguments that you can pass to our context.configure function. As you can see here right now, uh, what's required is our GPU device and the format. We've already talked about those things, but there are other options here, so, so, such as usage, view formats, color space, and alpha mode. Each one does have a default value, so it's not necessary for you to configure it. But with that said, each application is different. So if you need to make a change, well, I recommend you go here and you read about what each field is. In our case, for rendering a triangle, we only need device and format.